Hey guys, and welcome back to Castle Crush. And today we are going to be making a giant specter here in double mana speed mode and going to try and break my record, which was plus 208 for a specter. And I think we can maybe do it. So let's get in here and try some matches out. And this one is looking good potentially just because this player is already coming in here with a lot of skeletons, which means I should have time to set this up. And we have specters going out there and resurrection is a key card in this deck in order to keep the skeletons alive along with the necromancer. So those are both very important cards here in this deck. And once we have those necromancer stacks going, uh, looks like we should be able to keep things happening. And then the Valkyrie is also going to be very important for making sure we can get our cards out quickly so we can get as many skeletons out during the course of the match as possible and then of course keep them alive with the other cards because if they reset you back to zero skeletons well then you're never really going to get up to 200. I think the Boneyards were not the most efficient card to use in this match and I end up changing them uh, after this I think. But we were getting a pretty decent number of skeletons in this match. This one was just an absolutely epic skeleton and archer showdown. Absolutely epic battle, epic battle here. And I'm successfully holding them off. It is tricky trying to keep one side from winning or losing. But if you want to get the most skeletons out there as possible, that is kind of what you have to uh, contend with. There's a plus 120. They do have a Skull Queen out, which is definitely giving them some sort of advantage, especially in the bottom lane. But luckily, my Necromancers are helping me to uh, maintain a really nice flow of skeletons across the board here. And I think we're winning the Giant Spectre battle for now. Because they just did... Uh, Plus 64, was that me? Oh no, it must have been them, because I just did a plus 169. Let's go! That's a pretty good one. Oh, but now the lag comes in. The lag is starting, guys. Plus 183, will we get there? Plus 191? Oh, it's getting really close, but unfortunately I'm at their castle. I think we have enough skeletons out there to break the record, but no specter. So... That was such an epic showdown, though. It did get very laggy at the end. I'm not sure how we're going to get past 208, though. Unfortunately, if we can't manage to do that uh, without getting a bunch of lags. So we'll kind of have to uh, play our cards and see how that turns out a little bit. So let's get into another match here and see if we can do it this time. I do like the Boneyards to start with, but they ended up not being the most efficient card later on in the match because obviously once you're down to just a couple cards in your hand, they're not really very useful. So would have been better if I'd not used Boneyard, but it is what it is. It still was working pretty well. The Valkyrie, though, is a big addition because it allows me to get more cards out there and more cards means more skeletons, which is a better chance to get over 200. This looked like I was going to win this one pretty quick, but they're doing a good job with uh, their own necromancers and necromancer stacks are basically what I need in order to prolong a match. And suddenly this was looking pretty good. I've got necromancers down. I've got like three Valkyries out there, so I can instantly play anything pretty much. And we're starting to get a ton of skeletons out there. And I'm making sure to prioritize my gusts of wind to keep my cards off of their castle. And because they have two Necromancers out there, it's also helping me because I only really have one lane I have to gust of wind, which has been the top lane. And. So many Valkyries out there, everything's just zero mana, which is sweet, because I can just keep drawing 
play, draw, play, draw, play. Which is very, very effective. So let's see how we're going to do this. Plus 190 and we're pretty early on in the match. Okay, this is looking pretty hopeful. Plus 200. Getting close, guys. Can we do it? It's looking really promising. I'm playing every card I possibly can. Plus 246. We broke the record. There it is. Plus 246. Can we keep going? Here's another Spectre. Plus 256. We're still going. That top lane does need a gust of wind, but... 267. What? <laughs> My army of giant Spectre out there is so intimidating. Ah, oh, I didn't get a gust of wind. If I got a gust of wind, I think that would have kept going. But plus 267 for a Spectre, that is insane. So leave a like if you enjoy. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of challenges I should create. Maybe subscribe if you're new to my channel. And thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos.